Want to play all those arcade games on your PC? Let me show you the easiest way to get this set up. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. One of the great things about using emulation for your retro gaming is that you can play all of the great arcade machines directly on your PC. Emulators use the actual code that was used to run the arcade cabinets, so the games you play are completely true to the originals. Now MAME, the multiple arcade machine emulator, is the best emulator for arcade games, but it can be a bit tricky to get it installed, configured and able to run your games. At least that was until now. Launchbox is one of the best front ends for your retro game collection. The latest release, version 12.7, includes an automatic MAME installation where you simply need to supply a ROM set and Launchbox will then download the correct version of MAME, install it for you, load and catalogue all of your games, download all the game information and artwork and then allow you to browse through your whole collection with just a double click needed to play any game. It really can't get any simpler than this to get a full set of arcade games onto your PC. So let's see how it works. The biggest hurdle in building your MAME installation is getting hold of a full ROM set. Now I've already made a video which explains what MAME ROM sets are, so, so please do have a look at that tutorial for a full explanation, and I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. In summary though, a, a full ROM set is a collection of ROM files that contains all the code for all the arcade games. Now games in MAME share some blocks of code, so one game might rely on another game being present before it has enough information to run. This means that downloading single MAME games doesn't always work as some of the code might be missing. So using a full ROM set simply means you have everything you need. Now as usual I'm not able to tell you directly where to get hold of these files, but a simple Google search will get you heading in the right direction. Now one of the big confusions when setting up MAME is making sure that the ROMs you download match with the version of MAME you install. Now MAME is continually being updated and ROMs are continually being tweaked to make the games run better. And this means that it's best to use a ROM set that matches your version of MAME. Now Launchbox is going to make this process much simpler. Getting hold of a full ROM set is the most difficult part in this process, so whichever one you manage to get hold of, Launchbox will automatically match it as it installs MAME for you. Now as I make this video, the latest version of MAME is 0 0.240, so searching for a MAME 0 0.240 full ROM set is probably your best starting point. Now quite often it can be hard to find the very latest versions, so simply start working backwards with 0 0.239 etc until you manage to find a full ROM set you can get hold of. Now, now full ROM sets are big files, um, upwards of 50 gigabytes to download, so do be aware that you'll need to be able to leave your machine running for quite some time depending on the download speed. And again, please do have a look at my MAME ROMs video for more information on all of this. Now, now quite often the file you download will be a single archive file um, with all the individual software archive files contained within it. And now you'll need to extract all of these individual game archive files out of this outer archive file for Launchbox to be able to complete the import process. So just create a MAME folder and then just extract all the contents of your downloaded archive into that folder. Once you've got hold of your full MAME ROM set, the hard work is done. All we need to do now is install Launchbox and run its MAME import wizard. To download Launchbox, just go to the Launchbox website and that's at www.launchbox-app.com. Click on the download button and then fill in your name, your email address and that will email you a download link. 
So once you receive that email, just click on the download link and your download will start. So once that's finished downloading, locate the file and double click it to run the install program. Now the only thing I would advise changing during the installation process is the location of your LaunchBox folder. So I prefer to put this in the root folder of one of my hard drives rather than in my user area. Now there's no technical reason for this, um, but I just feel that it makes things easier if I ever want to transfer my entire LaunchBox installation to another computer. Um, but we'll do more on making LaunchBox portable in a later video. The LaunchBox also does require a couple of extra bits of software and it will ask you to allow it to download and install these for you. So once the LaunchBox installation is finished, you'll need to reboot your computer, but then we're ready to build our arcade machine. So this is where the magic is going to happen. Now previously we would have to install MAME manually, link it up with our LaunchBox application, configure it and then attach our games. When you first run LaunchBox, it will recognize that you have no games loaded, so we'll offer you a few choices. Now we want to import a full MAME ROM set, so we can select that option to start the import wizard. Now if you've already bypassed this menu, you can just go to the LaunchBox menu, Tools, Import, and then Import Full MAME Set, and that too will start the wizard. Now first of all, you get to choose um, what you want to call this collection of games. So MAME is going to import all these games and then put them into and effectively into a folder for you and we can name that folder. So the default is Arcade, which does make pretty much good sense, um, but you can change it to whatever you want. So next, we need to tell LaunchBox where we've put our full ROM set. So just click the Browse button and locate the folder where you saved all of your downloaded games ROMs. Now the wizard will try to identify which version of ROM set you have, uh, but if it's not able, you can use the drop down list to select the correct version of MAME that you're going to need. So the next screen is where we ask um, LaunchBox to set everything up for us. As the top option says, it will automatically install and configure MAME. Now if you've already got a version of MAME installed, or, or you want to do it yourself, then you've obviously got these other two options. So selecting the first option, we'll get LaunchBox to download, install and connect the correct version of the MAME emulator, as well as configuring it so it is ready to play your games. Now all of the manual tweaking that needs to be done, that will all be done for you by LaunchBox during installation. So once MAME is ready, LaunchBox will ask you to connect to the high score tables. Now this, this is a completely optional part of the install, but if you want to be able to compare your game scores with other users and, and load your name up onto the high score tables, then, then you're gonna to need to set up an account here and connect it in. Uh, and I, must, I have to be honest and say that that's not so, something I've ever tried doing. So next, Screen, then the wizard will ask you if you want to download game metadata. And this is information about each of the games, like the publishing dates and, and so on. So, so do make sure you select this option. After this, the next stage allows LaunchBox to gather artwork for the games. Now LaunchBox uses a graphical front end to display your game collection. So it needs to download box art, cabinet um, images, gameplay pictures and so on to make the whole retro gaming experience that much better. So, so my advice is to check all and just let the installer find as many items as it can. Now this does of course increase the setup time um, to, to actually a few hours uh, and also of course increases the size of the installation but it is well worth it um, to get a great looking front end. Now if you do just want to get the games up and running as fast as possible, then just click the Select None option and that won't download anything. Um, you, you can always run the image scraping process at a later date. MU Movies is a website that allows you to download short video clips for the games along with other artwork. Now you do need to have a paid subscription account for this, but it will then show short video clips of each title as you browse your collection. And again, this does take quite some time to complete and it will drastically increase the size of your installation. So the next step 
Um, that sets up how LaunchBox is going to filter and catalogue your game collection. So at the top there we have clones. So, so clones are different versions of the same game. And the recommended setting here is to import them as additional versions. And um, what this means is that the game that you get listed on the front end in your collection will be the original game with the other versions still available, um, but they're going to be hidden behind that so they don't clog up your collection listing. Now you can still play these versions by entering a single game setup. And, and mostly this is fine, but there will be a few that will throw you out. Um, for example, Pac-Man is actually a clone of the original Japanese game, Puck-Man. They're exactly the same um, game, but just branded differently. But back to the import wizard, um, on the next bit then, you can prioritise a specific region. So if LaunchBox has a choice, it will then use this version in your game list. The next section on this page lets you skip certain types of games, and these are things like casino games and, and so on. Uh, and usually you'll want to leave all of these options ticked, uh, but if you do want to include any of these types then, then just untick that option and, MAME and LaunchBox will import those for you as well. The last section then tells LaunchBox what game categories to create to help you manage your collection. Now there are literally thousands of games in a full uh, MAME ROM set and these playlists that it will create will make it easier to browse through this library to find all those hidden games that you've never heard of. Uh, my advice is to keep all of these checked and let LaunchBox start this big cataloguing process for you. As you start to play games you'll find your favourite ones and then you can start to refine that and make your own playlists. So we're almost there now. On the next screen then, LaunchBox is going to read through the files in your ROM set to identify your games. So after a few seconds, you'll see a full list appear with the game name and the associated file that stores its code. Now you can scroll through here to have a look, um, but in, in the end you're going to need to press the finish button at the bottom and that will actually start the import process. So if you've selected to import game images, um, you'll need to leave this running for quite a few hours. Um, again, um, there are quite a few thousand um, games to cover and quite a few images per game, so that all has to be downloaded. If you've skipped this image importing process, then the process of setting up the games is only going to take a few minutes, um, but obviously you won't get any of the nice pictures in your game browser. So once that import process is complete, you should now have quite a few thousand arcade games waiting for you to play them. So in the menu on the left, you can expand the arcade section and then you should be able to see all the different playlists. So you can start to browse through these or you can just browse the whole list or there is a search box if there is a particular game that you want to find. When you find a game, just a single click on it will bring up its details on the right hand side. And again, if you've imported images, you'll see various bits of artwork and screenshots. If you want to play a game, just double click on it, and this will start up MAME, load the game, switch you into full screen mode, and then you're all set for some fantastic arcade fun. So that's LaunchBox installed with a full set of MAME arcade games. And as I say, that really doesn't get a much easier installation process. If you've not used LaunchBox before, or you haven't used its paid brother, um, BigBox, then you're in for a real treat. Uh, not only can it manage your arcade games, but also any console, computer or handheld emulators that you want to use. All you'll need to do is install some extra emulators to run these, and then get LaunchBox to manage your game collection for you. But I'll, I'll cover that in another video. So. I hope you found this useful, and, and this really is the easiest way to get up and running with the arcade game emulators. So don't forget to check out my channel and website for more projects. Make sure to click that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get my latest videos as soon as I publish them. Have fun playing all your favourite arcade classics, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. 
I'll leave you with a few of my favourite arcade games. So, bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.